Hi guys, and welcome back to another glorious Sporkle Quiz Day. And I know you love these days as much as I do. And yes, we've just done the US states. Um, so I thought it'd be good to, by comparison, do the counties of England. Apparently the ceremonial ones. But it says ceremonial or geographic, so I, I mean, I don't really know which one, uh, which one it means. But, I mean, uh, the US there was 50, and I got about, what did I get, about a, a bit more than, I think I got 30-something. So if I can do better with England, I mean, I should do better. But <laughs> there's a lot of little, tiny, weird counties in here, guys, that they're hard. So you can play along at home, of course, guys, and let me know how you do down in the comments below. But let's get going. We only get 10 minutes for this as well. We're going to start in the north because the north is the best and everyone knows that. I mean, we'll start with Scumbria and then we'll go to the mighty Lancashire. And then unfortunately, I have to go to Yorkshire. Uh, or go North Yorkshire. Uh, yeah, North Yorkshire. We go um, West Yorkshire, does that count? Yeah, West Yorkshire. We go uh, East Riding, East Riding of Yorkshire, yep. Now let's go to Northumbria. And we have Durham and uh, oh, Northumberland, Northumbria. No, that's Northumberland. Um, where is Newcastle called? Is it called Tyndale? Oh, what's it? Uh, the oh, I, I don't know. Right, let's go down then uh, from Lancashire, Cheshire. Oh, uh, we'll go for Greater Manchester, Mers Merseyside, Merseyside. Um, oh, so here I believe that's Lincolnshire. We have Derbyshire. God, lots of shires, eh? Derbyshire. Oh, what's this? East of Greater Manchester. Under Yorkshire. Uh, um, South Yorkshire. I don't think so. This is where it gets uh, gets hard. Shrewsbury. Where's Shrewsbury in? Shrewsbury. <laughs> All right, let's go south then to some of the easier ones so I can uh, actually do uh, as much of this. Um, Devon. Um, Somerset. Wiltshire. Uh, so what's Southampton in? Plymouth? I mean, it's not called that, is it? Uh, well, we have Gloucestershire above... Uh, Gloucestershire. Ooh, no luck catching them killers then. Uh, Bristol. Oh, Bristol is one. That's mad. Um, we've got the Isle of Wight. Uh, Channel Islands. Do they count? No. Now let's go around London then. We've got Essex. Sussex. Sussex. What? Sussex? Uh, East Anglia. What? How does that... This is a weird map. Anglia? East Anglia. What? How is that not there? Uh, Norwich? I know. Kent, of course, down by Canterbury. Uh, Dover? No. Oh, God, this is hard, bro. Let's go through, like, the Middle England. Buckinghamshire. Uh, Surrey. Uh, Greater London. Surrey. This is, this is hard, bro. These middle ones, I mean, we'll go for... Uh, do we go for Black Country? Is that count... I was just thinking ceremonial. Um, we go for Birmingham. Was Birmingham just by itself? No. Birmingham. Oh, well, does it, did I spell it right? Birmingham. Yeah. Uh, what would that be called? Uh, Midlands? Uh, East Midlands. Nope. West Midlands? Okay, West Midlands is one. Uh, what's the Birmingham called? Greater Birmingham. Let's try that. We've got Greater Manchester. 
the Brum, Brum, <laughs> uh, West Midlands. Uh, we've got Worcestershire. Oh, not Rochestershire. Worcestershire. Okay, Worcestershire. Ooh. Northampton. Northamptonshire. This is this is really tough, bro. I mean, you got more than half, so that's good. But I'm struggling right now. Oh, I really, am I really struggling? Really struggling. I these ones down here, Kent, Surrey. I thought is Sussex. That's how you spell Sussex. Hmm. Essex, Sussex. Buckinghamshire. Uh, we'll go for Cambridge. Cambridgeshire. Oxfordshire. So we've got Cambridgeshire and Oxfordshire now. Uh, what's below Oxfordshire there? Next to Greater London. Hmm. Where's Stonehenge is in? Oh, this is tough, bro. Oh, next to Derbyshire, next to Greater Manchester as well. West Yorkshire. I mean, South Yorkshire. I don't think South Yorkshire is a, is a, is a county. Wait, it is South Yorkshire. Between Derbyshire and, and Lincolnshire. Oh, tough, bro. I I'm. I think I'm done. I mean, I've put Sussex and East Anglia as well, so that would be 32. Uh, Suffolk, Hertfordshire, City of London, East Sussex, and West Sussex. Come on, bro. Isle of Wight. I thought I put that. I sp spelt it wrong, though. Hampshire, Dorset, Berkshire, Bedfordshire, Warwickshire, Herefordshire, Shropshire, Staffordshire, Leicestershire. I should have got Leicestershire. Nottinghamshire, and Rutland, and Tyne and the Weir. Yeah, I forgot about that one. Everyone seems to have average score of 76 or 83 for some reason. Right, guys. Well, we've done that one. Let's uh, mirror our USA video and uh, let's do some uh, historical prime ministers. See my, how many I can name. Spoiler, it's probably about two. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, here we are, guys. And as you can see, the 78. I will be happy if I get 15 to 20, honestly. So let's go from now. I mean, I'm... I'm I don't know how this is. Yeah, Liz Truss. Uh, we have Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson. Uh, then we have uh, Theresa May. Then we have David Cameron. Then we have Gordon Brown. Okay, this is okay. These are all the ones in my lifetime, though, so <laughs> I kind of know. Uh, Tony Blair. I don't need to write their full name, do I? Uh, then 1990 to 1997. I don't know. I was born in 1997. Macmillan. Macmillan. Oh, that's a long time ago, so it wasn't that. Uh, who did Tony Blair beat? Oh, I don't know. And then before that, we had Thatcher, obviously. Uh, Smith. Is Smith not in there? Um, I've got Asquith after World War Two. Wait, no, that's really early. Um, Anthony Eden. Uh, Churchill, of course. I'm going to put that in. Winston Churchill. Oh, who was his name? The guy who founded the NHS. I should know this. I thought it was Eden or Asquith, but it, it's not. Um... Oh, oh, I'm just thinking back to the crown right now. <laughs> That's literally it. I'll go to some historical ones. Uh, we got William Pitt, the younger and elder. William Pitt, the younger. Uh, William Pitt, the elder. Yep. Uh, we'll go for uh, Wellington. Uh, York. No Duke of York, no. Uh, what about Cromwell? Oh, we're not going back far enough for that. Ooh, I said I'd, 
15 to 20 would be good, but I, I feel like I've got more in me. Now let's think of these words. Um, let's think of these times. So World War One. World War One, 1914 to 19, uh, 1919. Who took after Asquith? Got Macmillan. Oh, Newbold, Newport, Newton. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and then, oh, and I can't remember who Churchill took over from either. Also, who was between Tony Blair and Thatcher? Mm. <sighs> this is. This is tough, bro. This is really, really tough. There's a lot on here. Some of them only served like one year. Duke of Wellington, just one year. I mean, there's three prime ministers in that single year, bro. Um. 1990 to 1997. God damn, bro. I, I don't know. Really don't know. Oh, what's he called? What's he called? Oh, God. Ah. I mean, I know that's not right, but... I'm just throwing names out there. We've got William Pitt. Got... Got the Duke of Wellington. I mean... I'm going to put the Duke of York in. No, I mean, that's the king's brother, so it can't be. Uh, okay. Oh, this is this is me, bros. This is me. Did worse on the UK prime ministers than I did on the uh, American presidents. John Major, there we are. Callahan Wilson. I should have got Wilson. Heath. Uh, Douglas Holm. Atley, there we are. Neville Chamberlain, I should have got that. Stanley Baldwin, maybe not. McDonald, Baldwin, McDonald, Baldwin. That would have got loads. Bonalaw. Mr. Bonalaw. <laughs> what a stupid name, bro. Uh, Lloyd George, probably should have got that. Balfour, I should have got that as well. Uh, but yeah, Gladstone, Salisbury. I mean, I don't know. Robert Peel. Some of these, I don't know. Earl of Liverpool. I was going down some of them. Duke of Portland. Uh, Henry Addington, Duke of Portland. I mean, uh, that's that's difficult. Average score 54. Don't lie, bro. Don't lie. No way. Oh, Disraeli. How did I not get Disraeli? That's that's quite an iconic one. Uh, but anyway, let's move on to the next one. Let's see what we have in store for ourselves with the next one. I'll see you there. So here we have the UK Geography Bunker. So uh, it's it basically gets harder each one, and you've just got to put what the answer is. So what's the capital city of the UK? It's B, London. How many constituent countries is the UK composed of? Four. Wait, no, don't, don't put four. Put C. Uh, which country is the UK's closest neighbour? I mean, obviously, Ireland. Which sea runs along the east of England and Scotland? It's the North Sea. Which is the longest river in the UK? It's the Thames. Wait, no! Okay, let's replay. Let's replay. So, UK is in D Europe. Capital city is B London. They're on different ones now. How many constituent countries? We've got C4. Uh, UK's closest neighbour is D Island. Which sea runs along the east of England and Scotland? It's the North Sea. I think that's a River Seven then. Which is the only ocean not to touch UK territory, including overseas territories? So, um, the Arctic will, likely. The Atlantic definitely does, Bermuda. Indian. I can't see that being a no. Pacific, though? Yeah, we'll have some tiny spit of land out in the Pacific, surely. Let's say the Arctic. It was the Arctic, okay. What is the UK's highest mountain? It is Ben Nevis. Which constituent country has the longest coastline? England, Northern Ireland, Scotland or Wales? It's got to be Scotland. Which crown dependency lies in the Irish Sea? The Isle of Man. 
Which northern city is nicknamed the Athens of the North? Oh, bro. That's got to be Edinburgh, surely. What is the most northern point of uh, land in the UK? It's John O'Groats. What? Oh, is it Outstack? Oh, I don't know. But anyway, we'll, we'll leave that one. We got pretty far. We got above the average. So I'll see you on another one. I'm going to do a UK versus US one now. So we'll see. We'll see how we do on that one. Right, we have an American versus British images. And we've got to come up with the names for both of them. And uh, so number one uh, would be obviously chips in the UK and fries in America. We have pants uh, in America and trousers in the UK. A ladybird. I don't know what they call that in America. Uh, a torch. And then I've got to be careful how I type this one. A flashlight. <laughs> um, a cue. What would you call that in America? Uh, then we have an eggplant slash an aubergine. Now that a trash can or a uh, uh, or rubbish in the UK. Yep. Checkers or drafts, yeah. Uh, pavement slash sidewalk. Next one. What well, I don't know what that picture is of, but I don't know. Soap, a rubber, eraser. There we are. A rubber and an eraser. That makes sense. A lift or an elevator. I mean, these are all kind of in interchangeable in the UK now. Candy floss or cotton candy. Uh, a trolley. What would you call that in the US? What do you call the trolley? Uh, a trolley. A cart? Yeah, a shopping cart. Okay, so we've got a zebra crossing. A uh, zebra crossing or a crosswalk, I believe. Yes. Uh, and then a jumper or a pullover? What? A jumper. I don't know, a jumper or a... What do you call that? Jumper or a... Hmm. 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 Jumper. Sweater. There we are. Yes. And then we, of course, got football and soccer. Now, which ones do I not have? I don't have a Q or Ladybird. Everything else, though, I think I've done pretty well. And I don't know what a Ladybird is. I don't know what a... A line. I mean, they don't call it a Q as well. And then a Ladybug. <laughs> okay. I mean, fair play. Fair play. Right. I will uh, see you on the next one, guys. So, we have a location one here. Can you determine whether these locations are in the US or the UK? Um, I say that's in the UK, yeah, Westminster Abbey. I'd very much say that that's also in the UK. What? That's the US National Cathedral, really? I think that is the Capitol building, yeah. Well, that's US, obviously. Okay, now that is fancy. But does it look old? That is the thing that I'm looking for. I'm going to say that's the UK, but... Yeah. Oh, that's Big Ben, really. Uh, surely that's the US. Yeah, Gateway Arch. Oh, that... Is that Blackpool Tower? Yeah, it is. Come on, the north. That looks like... <sighs> that looks like Blackpool as well. It's Brighton Pier. <laughs> uh, well, seeing as we've had some UK, I'm going to say that's USA. Um... Those are the White Cliffs of Dover. Oh, is that the that's San Francisco, right? No, Fourth Bridge, Edinburgh to Five. I've actually been on that. That's of course the U.S. Grand Canyon. Okay, now that is the U.S. That's the Golden. That's the Golden Gate. Which that's what I thought it was before. I mean, that's the Red Lion of Lothian. So I mean, that has to be the U.K. Edinburgh Castle. Now that looks like an American copy to me. If there ever was one. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to guess. I mean, there's a lot of buildings in the US that have the Greco, uh, the Greco Roman style. So I'm going to go US. Yeah, Jefferson Memorial. That's the Roman baths in Bath. 
And that is definitely the UK, but I'm I'm wondering where. That, I mean, it looks it looks to me like the Lake District, but let's see. Oh, that's Snowden. Okay, I've been there, so I think, I didn't even recognize it. That's definitely the USA. There isn't, there isn't much uh, foliage that looks like that. That's Stonehenge. Okay, we did pretty well. They've got a second one of these as well, guys. So uh, let's go for UK, US or UK 2. And let's see. I mean, that is so old. That has to be the UK, surely. Wait, no, really? That's the Gherkin, so that is the UK. Oh, now, the, is that the Angel of the North? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Now, I don't recognize this one, but if we look at that flag, <laughs> bit of a clue there. Yeah, Grand Central Station. I mean, if that's not the UK, I don't know what is. Tower of London. Uh, I'm going to guess that's the US. Looks very, yeah, I was going to say colonial style there. Hmm, where is that? UK. US Cinderella Castle Orlando. It's quite a good copy, that. If there's not a more American bloke looking there, then there's obviously the US. Now, is that St. Paul's Cathedral? I'm going to guess UK. Yeah. Okay, good. I mean, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> some of these are a bit easy. Like, what's going on? UK, Giants Causeway. That is... I believe that's London. I believe that's... Is that not London Bridge? US London Bridge. What? Okay. Um, that's... That's... Uh, that's the UK, definitely. That's the Millennium Stadium. Okay, cool. That's definitely the US. You can tell by the amount of parking, bro. <laughs> no idea what it is. Apparently that's in Portsmouth. Okay. Uh, just looking, judging by everything else, I think that's the UK. Yellow Submarine in Liverpool. Okay. That's got to be US, surely. Um, Hadrian's Wall. Yep. So, cool. That will be the big dam. The Hoover Dam. We, I, we did pretty well. We did pretty well. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. But I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I know that was another. That was the UK version of our US one. See how it was. Um, but I hope I hope you enjoyed that. That was fun. And uh, please like and comment down below how you did on a lot of those uh, questions. And I will see you guys again on the next video.